Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. Today I have a DIY video for you. I've only ever made one of these in the past, but it was really fun and I've been wanting to make a surfboard rack for a really long time and I finally got around to it. So if you want to know how to make one, I explain all the details in this video in a vlog style so it still might be entertaining to watch even if you don't want to build one. This is kind of what it ends up looking like. I'm super happy with the results and without further ado, let's get into the video. So here's the plan. Here's what the surfboard rack is going to look like. It's basically a little vertical stand with a platform and I'm making mine hold four surfboards so that means I'm gonna be needing five dowels to separate them here are the measurements you're gonna need four 40 inch 2 by fours two 54 inch 2 by fours and two 24 inch 2 by fours you're also gonna need five 14 inch wooden dowels a couple pool noodles some turf a spray paint color of your choice and a bunch of screws let's go build a surfboard rack I thought that I was gonna get a stain and stain the surfboard rack, but I decided I kinda wanna make it black now and maybe add some colors in here and there. I'm gonna do that now. By the way, I'm just using spray paint and clear coat. I actually think since there's like some rough edges around these, I'm gonna try to sand them down a little bit before I start spray painting. rough your wood is you can skip that step or not all up to you all right so the next step is gonna be to spray paint all of these pieces black let's get to spray painting also do this outside and you should probably be wearing a mask too but I don't have one of those right now so live your life Okay, now I'm gonna do some clear coat so that it like locks all the paint in, you know? I have a friend. Hello. Hi, Lulu. Hi guys, it's the next day. I went to four different stores looking for these damn pool noodles. Apparently everyone and their mothers needs pool noodles right now because it's summer or something. So the reason that we got these is so that it goes over these dowels that are gonna go in between all of the surfboards. I still need to cut this up into five pieces. So let's go ahead and do that now. So like I said at the beginning, I'm making each of my dowels 14 inches long. You can adjust this depending on how wide your surfboards are. I have a couple foamies and another nine foot board. So this put me a little over half the width of the board. That's gonna keep everything nice and stable. That's what we want. I mean, you'll see in a few minutes when this video is over and I show you the finished product, if it's stable or not. One dowel done. I just killed another mosquito. Dude, I feel them everywhere. Anyways. All right, we ended up with six of them. I think I'm only gonna use five. So here's the plan. We're gonna make pilot holes right here in the center, straight through, just so that when we stick these to the two by fours, it doesn't split this wood. There we have it, pilot hole. That's the third mosquito I caught in my hand. All right, they should look something a little like this. My apologies to those with tryptophobia. Now it's time to put this whole thing together. And I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. Can we just look at this right here? This is what I get for trying to build stuff in the summer. All right, so here I am building the bottom portion. So I made a mistake. You'll see why in a minute, but I fix it. So follow what it looks like when I fix it, not what it looks like right here. <laughs> 
just like that, our base is done. That looks pretty sweet. So now what we're gonna do is create the whole back portion and then attach it to this piece. Sorry if I look extremely sweaty, it's because I am. It's hot as hell, but I'm just trying to get this build done because I've been wanting to do it for a very long time. So the back piece is gonna look something like this. I've laid it out for you here. These are the two longest pieces and then these are a couple of more 40 inch pieces. All right guys, you know the drill, get it? All right, so we're gonna place two to three screws at each point of connection here, and I would make pilot holes for each one as well. By the way, guys, if you guys like these kinds of videos, I made another one where I built a skateboard ramp. I'm gonna put that somewhere up here for you to click on. Here's an update on it, if you wanna know. There it is. I like making these types of videos, so if you guys enjoy watching them, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below something you would like to see me build. So I may have messed up. What I messed up on was I had the sides like this, so there was a little piece hanging off the end. What you actually want to do is have it be flush against this piece. That way you can just connect the back piece and the bottom piece and it'll be seamless. So I'm going to fix that right now and I'll get back to you. I put it together. I haven't screwed it in place yet, but this is what it looks like. For all of these pieces, you're gonna wanna put a minimum of two screws in these. I put three because I'm extra. I do suggest for this bottom part connecting the whole thing together though, that you put at least three screws. I put five because I'm extra. So to figure out where your dowels are gonna go, you're gonna make a mark here at 10 inches, 20 inches, and 30 inches. And then you're gonna have two on each side at the ends. So I placed my dowel like this, roughly marked out where I wanted it, and then made a mark in the center so I know where to make the pilot hole. From there, you're gonna make pilot holes from the back and screw those dowels in. Pretty much the whole thing's done. We just have to add the final touches, which are the foam going around each of the dowels and the turf at the bottom of the platform. As for the foam on top, I kind of just shoved mine through even though they weren't the right size diameter, but I just made each cut so that they were the same size as the dowels and twisted them through and then screwed them back into place. All right, we got the foam pieces on. This is what it looks like. All right, so the final step of this project is to get the turf on the bottom two pieces, and I'm just gonna make a cut at that one. By the way, each of these pieces are gonna be 40 by four inches. Okay, here we have the cut pieces. Now, all we're gonna do is hammer them in with some nails. That's it. We're done. All right, I'm gonna try to wrap this up quick because I'm getting absolutely eaten by mosquitoes right now. It's really bad. It's as if I live in like a swamp or something. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, here it is in its final form. I really like the way it turned out. Hopefully you guys do too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If any of you guys followed along and made this with me, tweet me a picture of it, at Valetto Sarhad, and follow me on Instagram, at Valetto Sarhad as well. I'm running away from mosquitoes, but again, thank you for watching, and let me know something else you want me to build or create or film or make, whatever. Give me ideas, you know? All right, I'm out of here. See you next week. No.